So the developer of EasyTube has recently updated his YouTube application, and he's added some neat new functionality to it. One of the greatest new features he added is the ability to play videos on a remote display, which is really awesome. What you do with that is you can browse for a video, and you browse for it right on your phone, and then you connect your computer to your phone just by going to a website, and you can of course pick the video on a phone and what you do is you link your YouTube account to the EasyTube application and then you visit easytube.wasoftvin.net and you log into the same YouTube account there and click allow access and then you'll be able to remotely play videos you can click on a video here like I just clicked on this racing one and it'll start loading here. Once I take my phone off, it'll stop messing up. And as you can see, it remotely plays on the computer. And the really cool thing about that is you can be looking for different videos on your phone while that current video is playing. So it's great for surfing videos while you're on the couch, and you can just remotely play them, and you can also comment on them while watching them on the big screen. And it all works really well. Now, of course, your computer needs to have the internet connection, and that internet connection is actually streaming the videos, so it plays pretty well, and it plays in 1080p, which is really nice, but it's a fabulous feature, and it's really awesome. Works really well. And another thing that's not really improved yet in the application, but it will be, is that with the Mango Beta, the scrolling is way more fluid than it is in Noto. So that's a great improvement. Unfortunately, when you're actually streaming videos on your own phone, not to a computer, it seems like the videos start to lag a lot for some reason. And the frame rate isn't smooth and keeps on jumping around. And that happens no matter what quality setting you have the videos on. That might not happen on all devices. It might just be the HTC devices. But it's definitely happening on my HD7, whether I'm on Noto or Mango. So that's pretty disappointing that you can't actually really watch videos on your phone because they're simply so jerky. But if the videos do actually work on your phone, you can actually have the option of downloading them and then saving them for later. But as you can see, the frame rate here is really bad and just jumps all around for some reason. That's not the camera or YouTube stuttering, that's actually the video itself. And that happens even if you download the videos. But another cool feature is that you can actually turn off the screen while listening to a video. So you can just listen to the music, which is great if you have a music video that you downloaded. And you can of course save all your music videos and organize them in folders. So overall, EasyTube is a great application if you want to remotely play videos to your computer which is possibly hooked up to a TV screen somewhere but as of now if you want to just watch videos actually on the device this isn't a good choice for you you could pick a number of different other YouTube apps in the marketplace that'll do a better job of playing videos on the device but for the remote streaming you definitely should check out EasyTube in the marketplace for free